Hey there, fellows. We've got an interesting idea for this one. So a buddy of mine, he... He made this here chair. He brought it over and was like, I bet you can't set up a similar suspension. But why don't we try converting the suspension on this car... to something similar to this using chains? We got the chain, the car. We got the chair, so let's do this. We make a levitating rear axle. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. So check this out. Here's where we're at with the build. You'll see that we've removed all of the links, leaving just one in place. To keep the axle level while we're setting all of this up, we've welded a few beams to the axle, and we haven't gotten to reinforcing any of it yet, so that's tack welded. The axle is currently hanging off of four chains, so that's four hang points that are keeping it from falling. But we need to make one more to hang it off of. That'll keep it from moving up. Just like on that chair that we showed you earlier. So our reasoning was, why try and invent something when you've already got a working concept? And that's the principle to go off of. We've got one bar here, another one behind the axle. Now we need to find some point underneath the axle that'll bear the brunt of all of this load. It's supposed to be here underneath the axle. It's just a matter of putting something together to connect the axle to a chain. Meanwhile, all of these chains are going to be limiting the axle's movement. So we know what to do, and I wonder whether all of this is going to work uh, once we're done. Share your thoughts in the comments, but I reckon we should get it to work. Okay, let's carry on. Check out what we got. You'll notice that we've removed all of the links. The axle is hung off of chains. But for now it's held by the chains that are meant to limit movement. Not this tiny one, there is a bit of slack here. But once it's under load, there should be some tension. Now if you'll allow me to demonstrate something, uh, this is quite interesting. We have a knock when it's rocking left and right. It has to be hitting something. Problem is, we can't figure out what exactly. It's as if, I don't know... Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe the chains stretch to the limit and uh, that stops the axle? I mean, there's nothing for it to even contact down here, literally nothing. Anyway, we thought that, in order to get rid of this, because driving a car with this going on is going to be quite unpleasant. What with the rear end rocking? And so, this used to have a panard rod, which we've removed. And we were like, we've got a chain-based suspension. Who's keeping us from using a chain for a panard rod? We do have these sections welded to the axle. We can just tie them to the ones holding the axle. The frame that the axle is hung off of. That'll reduce the left-to-right movement and make for a better handling car. So yeah, let's weld up a panard chain, bring the car down and go for a drive.
Okay, so we're done. And just like I mentioned previously, we've welded on something of a pannard rod to prevent the axle moving left and right. Otherwise, the chains, they do allow some movement. It's not a whole lot, but it is something. I mean, there has to be some semblance of a suspension. But as for how it'll behave once the car is out on the road... Well, let's bring it down and find out, shall we? Yeah, let's drop it, fire up the engine, and take this outside. Okay, well... We brought the car down, it's looking good. Let's see how this works. What was that? The axle started to get twisted and hit the car. Real. What? It's got a welded diff. Oh, welded diff. You're laughing, but I can't see anything from over here. What gives? We should be doing great. Is it hitting something? But what? But when you're driving straight, it's not hitting anything. And as soon as... The ride is harsh. It's harsh, I can hear strange noises. And you would have noticed that we have some huge wheels on there. The reason being that our triangle that we're running... That we welded in. It is very low to the ground. And so we fitted some oversized wheels. This has barely got any damping. It is super harsh. Yeah, it is very harsh. It almost feels like... We've welded in bits of pipe. The suspension is very stiff. When giving it some proper beans, there doesn't seem to be any contact. Oh, wow. Going over bumps does not feel good at all. <laughs> it's on the stiff side. Is there a rear steer effect? Well, I definitely felt the rear end doing a sort of dance. It's got a mind of its own. So let's say you set the steering wheel straight, you expect the car to follow suit, but it's just not. You know that the front wheels are pointed where they should be, but the ass end has a mind of its own. So there's a delay before the wheel returns to center. Let me thrash it some more. The handling is very peculiar. It does feel like I have a rear steer effect. But it has a mind of its own. Like, no regard for steering inputs. It's on its own program. And it's a tad stiff. Now, who am I kidding? This is super stiff. Like... It's as if I'm driving on logs instead of shocks. Oh, 
Oh, wow, well, where am I going? <laughs> but then this is nice. It steers, it drives. I'm having fun. But the thing that's got me on edge, well, yeah, it's obviously Steph. And I did want to drive to some really beat up patch of road. But then, I mean, even these roads are not exactly what you'd call an autobahn. They are not smooth. I'm particularly worried about the triangle that's holding the axle. That it might bottom out and strand us. Yeah, I think we get the picture. And oh, holy cow! Yeah, the wheels definitely have a mind of their own. It's going sideways, holy cow! <laughs> it drives like... I mean, you saw that it was like an old uh, Moon Rover Lias bus, where if the leaf spring were displaced, the thing would drive sideways. Or like a car after a nasty crash that would go like this or this. The rear would either step out this way or the other way. And so at the end of the day, this sort of suspension setup, like on that chair we showed you in the beginning, um, it actually works. Well, I mean, it keeps the axle in check, albeit it does move around quite a bit. But it doesn't go too far out of bounds. Nothing extraordinary is occurring. The main issue is that the suspension is super stiff. There is just nothing that can provide any sort of damping. But it drives, everything is good in that regard. And it's a pretty epic spectacle when the axle is moving back and forth. The car can be moving in this position, in this position, and it feels as if you got a rear steer effect going on. Sometimes it works with you, but in most cases it just doesn't. You're trying to drive straight, but the car is sort of uh, continuing to turn. That was quite a lot of fun. So yeah, on top of a chair based on that principle, you can also make a suspension for a car. So that worked, it's all good. We tried it out and it worked well. Yeah, this was a success, everything worked, we're looking good. You lost the bet, Evgeny, we got this to work. And that's all I got for you, watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. That's it, catch you guys later.